We are at Conquest Comics in Bayville, New Jersey. And the UPS truck just pulled up and they just delivered the comics. He just unloaded a box of comics and brought them in. The books are fresh and hot off the presses. Let's find out what he delivered. How you doing? How's it going? Uh, I was just looking around. I was going to look at the new books. We are inside, and as soon as you walk in, he has all the new comics right on the right here. He's got a bunch of uh, figurines on the wall there, and every kind of new book they have here. Let me grab this, maybe, this Nightwing. Even though it's not old, maybe a couple months, I think this cover is already iconic, right? Um, I think it's pretty terrific. This is not the A cover. I think it's the second print, and I think it's the B cover, but that cover is iconic. I'm going to grab it, and I think it looks super cool. And, uh, oh, I like that, right? Cool Batman, uh, and they have a bunch of trade paperbacks here. They have Funko Pop scattered throughout the store. And they have a bunch of statues and statuettes and figurines. They have a lot of space here. So I guess they just, uh, they have a ton of cases here with these statues in them. All right, let's check them out maybe a little quickly. On the left, you can see all the Funko Pop. There's like a wall, a whole aisle of Funko Pop. And on the right are trade paperbacks and omnibus. Look at that row of Funko Pop. All right, we got the Flash, Wonder Woman. We have, uh, yes, Mr. Freeze. He looks terrific, right? Is that from the uh, animated series, it looks like? And we have Daredevil. Looks awesome. All right, like I said, they just have tons of cases. And they got a bit large Batman there. That Nightwing looks awesome, right? Dr. Doom looks great. And then on the uh, side here, they have uh, more statues. They got Batman and they have Gambit over here, right? Look at the size of that suit, man. It's humongous. That's like a life-size head. All right, and then in the back, they have a bunch of back issues along the uh, back here. And they have a wall. Let's check out this wall of fame. They got a great wall back here with a ton of books. Right? So these are like at a, uh, like at a con or a trade show. All the key issues and the uh, more pricey books you would check out. A ton of books up here, huh? We got Alpha Flight number one, a little Sonic book. Looks like we have um, the Infinity Gauntlet. Was that the first issue? With uh, Thanos. Bunch of Batman action comics. All right, very cool. Is that Thor? The first, was that first Beta Ray Bill? We got some action comics. And then we have... This Batman is that uh, McFarlane uh, cover homage. All right, this is one of the few stores. I did a, a store tour of this a year ago, but uh, I think um, I was in the area again. I thought I'd do another one, and I missed comic book day, new comic book day, so I thought I'd come in and pick up some books, and I thought I'd film it, so I'd make this kind of quick. And this is a Batman Beyond, a San Diego Comic-Con convention uh, exclusive. And this is one of the few stores that doesn't play any music. It's great. Nice and quiet in here. So maybe I'll turn off the music that I have on so you can hear the ambiance. He's got the TV going. I think he's listening. I think he's watching South Park. So I'll give you the ambiance of the store. Maybe I'll turn off some of this music. Um, there's that Omega Man, right? The first Lobo. And then we have... Um, here's that Batman, the uh, first McFarlane Batman cover with uh, the Reaper on it. All right, let me give you the uh, ambiance of the story. I'll turn off the music for a little bit. Okay, so we 
that scarecrow was absolutely terrific. Look at that. And then we have another uh, aisle here of action figures, and they had a, a bunch of Marvel Legends. Also on the right, they had a bunch of DC stuff. And I saw a John Constantine here, a Justice League Dark. I thought that, look at that. It's awesome, right? All right, let's go behind the counter because they had another wall there, a wall of fame, and they had a bunch of slabbed books. I saw a terrific one here. Look at this adventure comics, man. This is the first Legion of Superheroes, right? 5-5. Five, five. That's terrific. And the clerk said it was going for like five, four or five grand. All right, stay with me. We'll, I'll do a little haul. I'll show you guys what I bought. Hang out with me, and I'll, I'll be real quick. Let me show you the books I have, the haul. All right, thanks for hanging around, man. I'll do this pretty quick. We'll check out the books I got. We got Moon Knight number two and number five, and they are both first prints. Number five is the third cover, and number two on the right there is the fourth cover. So there's a bunch of variants for these books. And I read, um, what was it, one, two, one through four digitally, but I only had number one. But I'm going to start collecting them because this runs really good. It's a uh, great read. It's uh, action-packed. It's really got my interest. It's really it's really cool. All right. And then we have uh, DC versus Vampires. And I missed it when it came out, this 12-issue miniseries. I thought it was going to be like Deceased. So I wasn't going to read it. I wasn't going to buy number two. But they have number one here. So I'm going to start. They have number one. And I grabbed number one and two so I can read this. It'd be a lot of fun because I love the Deceased. I'm thinking this might have the same uh, flavor to it. And it got pretty good reviews, so I'm going to grab it. So, uh, another cool book. And then we have, you saw me grab that Nightwing. I just think that cover is already iconic. It's so clever, right? It's very cool that it's like uh, landscaped. And um, look at Alfred on the end. Look at his fingers holding uh, Robin's cape. And then I got Batman The Adventure Continues Season 2. I just love this read, man. It's like the animated series, and it's easy to jump in, and the writing is good. Action-packed, moves quickly. I love the art. That, uh, you know, uh, that classic uh, animated style, kind of. All right. Then they had this. I, I grabbed one and two of this, and I thought it was great, but I don't see it around that much. So now they have three and four. I already have one and two. They have three and four. This thing was action-packed. It was really good. And I thought I'd stick with it. But I don't see it around. Not every store has it. And they have it... Uh, I don't think they pressed a lot of these. So since I see the three and four, I grab these. Because it's a good read. Um, I, don't, I, I didn't see one and two. They must have sold out. And the artwork in here is just terrific. It's just popping off the page there, right? All right, and then I got um, Task Force Z. I wasn't sure about this. I think it got mediocre reviews. But, I don't know, a zombie thing in DC? Might be kind of cool, right? So it's number one. I'll grab it. I'll give it a try. And Free Comic Book Day, they had Batman Fortnite. I love that miniseries, that uh, Christoph Gage six-issue miniseries. I did a review on it. Check it out on my web on my channel. I love that uh, thing. And they have a Free Comic Book Day book. It's issue one of that miniseries. All right, and then I bought some uh, older books, if you want to see. Uh, they had Batman Beyond there. I thought that Rebirth run was terrific, and I don't have that cover. This is like cover uh, B. It's like the second cover. And then the Batman Adventures of Lost Years, they really caught my eye. So I thought I'd grab it. Remember books with $2.99? Remember that? Rebirth? It wasn't even that long ago. Books with, that's, a, that's the right price. $2.99 is like a, a night. That's a little high, but that's probably where it should have stopped. Um, but I have number one, but I don't have that. this one, cover B. And then I splurged. I bought a, uh, I don't like uh, spending uh, so much money. I like to buy new books instead. But I really wanted this book, so I got it. Here we go. We got a big boy book. We got Batman 655. We got a key. It is the first appearance of Damian Wayne. They were going back and forth with 665 and 656. But it looks like the community has settled on this book, 655. And I love that Robin run that's going on right now, Joshua Williamson. So I thought he was going to start popping, the character of Damian Wayne. And I thought I'd... Uh... Now, I have one of these, but this is the second one I grabbed. 
I wanted to have a backup just in case one of them isn't. Uh, this one looks like it's a uh, 9.0 or 9.2. And they put a card in the, in the bag, Conquest Comics in uh, Bayville. If that's your local LCS, let me know if I missed anything in the comments below. It's a great shop, and I hope you guys enjoyed that. Check out my other videos, and I will see you next time. Thank you.